I was running an event with over 200 people when I got the phone call. The phone call was my friend in Bali, Indonesia, who was ringing to tell me that my best friend, business partner, had been killed in a motorcycle accident. You know, I remember getting the news uh, on the phone and, and asking whether or not he was joking and told him this would be a sick joke. He assured me that he wasn't joking. He informed me that I needed to ring uh, Deesa's parents and family and let them know what had happened. He'd been killed in a motorcycle accident just hours before. What was incredible at that point in, in our business, we were doing multiple millions, we had run events around the world, spoken to over 100,000 people, I'd written two best-selling books, and we'd just gone and invested a huge amount of money in a movie deal with Tony Robbins, the Dalai Lama. We had a, an event we were marketing, marketing for Gary Vaynerchuk in Australia. And, and everything was in this beautiful, big, but fragile place. And then I get that news. I was devastated. I had to, to ring his mother, his family, and tell them. A week later, I'm at his funeral, burying my best friend. I had to get on the phone and, and talk to our staff. We had 48 staff and let them know and inform them. And I couldn't stop. I didn't have a moment to stop. We didn't have the business in a place where uh, I could just pause. So there I am back in New Zealand where I'm from, recovering from this. I've gone from this big business uh, and all these things going right to hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt without a business partner, without my best friend, and with, with not really knowing where I was going to go next in my business and my life. And I sat there and I and I was sitting by this beautiful big lake and we had some friends that looked after us. And I sat by this lake and I asked myself this question, you know, what's life about? You know, like that, he was there then gone, he was driving on the right side of the road, he wasn't speeding, he wasn't drinking, a, a truck swerved across the middle of the, the road and he was gone. And, and I loved him, the, you know, just such a great guy, the, the best, and completely changed my life. And then he was gone and our, our business was, was done, it was gone. And so. I asked myself the question, you know, what's the point? What do I want to actually create? What do I want to make? What do I want to do? And I just got this one big word and it was just to serve. It was just service. And I, and I had this vision and what I realized is what being an entrepreneur really is. An entrepreneur sees a problem in the world and, and uh, they see that problem or they see people that aren't as satisfied with their life as they could be. And they come up with a solution to that problem. They then create that solution in a way that employs people. And they build a business and an organization that gives employment to people. So that increasing satisfaction for their customers, building a business and creating uh, an increasing satisfaction for their staff. Then what they do is they pay money to suppliers. For me, it's a lot of, uh, I buy a lot of media, Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn. So we're, we're helping suppliers and then I do a lot on the web. So, you know, a lot of different um, web designers and, and a lot of other people also get to have a great life because of this. And I, and I sat there and I thought, you know, the biggest gift that I could give, I'm going to be here at Max for probably another 80 years. And so in that 80 years, what is it that I get to do? And my decision was this, I wanted to serve the most important people on the planet. And that's entrepreneurs. People that are deciding to, you know, put on their shoulders <laughs> a bunch of other people. And to say, you know what, we're going to make all these lives better. That's what an entrepreneur is. If that's you, you know that you want to increase the quality of life for your customers. You want to create a business that employs people and you want to make money for yourself. You don't want to forget your family. You want to make their life better. So I believe entrepreneurs are the only source of positive movement. I believe building a business to be one of the most spiritually connected things you can do, especially a conscious business. And so I got really clear, I got really centered on what I wanted to build and what I wanted to create. And then I thought to myself, okay, I've helped hundreds of people to build a six-figure business. I've built a million-dollar business a few times. I need to get there as fast as possible. What do I need to do? And I realized there were just three things I needed, just three Ps. The first is I needed to focus on one person, one person and one problem. I needed to get really crystal clear on just one person. I thought to myself, you know what? A thousand thousands is a million. 
if I can find a thousand people to pay me a thousand dollars, that's a million. But I thought, so I, I don't need that many people. So I got really, really clear on a person. And here's how I chose. I decided that I wanted to help conscious entrepreneurs, spiritual entrepreneurs who want to go out there and create a business but don't want to do their marketing. Because in part of choosing your person, they must have a problem. So the problem that I decided to solve was people who just didn't want to do marketing. They're not interested in getting any of the technology, writing ads, they're not interested in any of it. I said, okay, that's who I'm going to serve. The second thing is you need to have one presentation. How do you present the idea? So after you get your person, this thing, I thought, okay, how am I going to present it? Now, a presentation really needs two things, emotion and clarity. In order for somebody to buy in to your idea, they must be clear on the product, they must be clear on the path, they must be clear on their problem. And then they need to be emotional about it. They need to feel hope, excitement, and urgency. And so I decided, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in an online presentation and that's how I'm going to present my idea in a no-brainer way. And the last thing you need is a pipeline. How do you go out there and bring people towards you? I've got this saying, don't go hunting, go fishing. Put the bait out there, pull people towards you, bring them on a journey, have them move towards you, create a pipeline. So I did. I decided to use media on Facebook. I decided to use partnerships. And then I decided to write an ad to get people to come along to this free training. And so I did that, I got really clear, I worked on my mind, I got clear on the three things. I had it all mapped out, and I launched. So within a month of Dee's passing away, I got myself back and I relaunched something. I got it out there, within three months, we were doing six figures a month. Within nine months, we'd hit a million dollars, and within a year, we'd done 2.1 just focusing on these three things. And I just want to say this to you. Whatever's happened to you in your entrepreneur journey, you can bounce back. Even if you've gone from high to low, wherever you are, you need to focus on just three things and have the right internal mindset. If you'd like to get some more information on how I can actually help you and your business, there's a link down here and you can learn about what we do. I've got some free trainings and things we can help you with. But my message to you is this. Being an entrepreneur is the most important thing that we can do for this planet. It's the most important thing because it raises everyone else up. Have an amazing day. Comment on this video if you resonated with this story. Share it out if others need to hear about it. You need to focus on where you want to go. Get the three things clear and understand that you can totally, totally do it right now.